champion, the wonder hole. Like a streak of lightning flashing across the sky. Like the swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. Our West is not a man who doesn't know the name of champion, the wonder horse. Champion, the wonder hard on him, Ricky. Plenty of humans take shortcuts that aren't fair. But you always told me that honesty is the best policy. It certainly is. I hope you'll always remember it, too, Ricky. Well, come on, let's get started. Sure, Uncle Sandy. Go on, champ. I'll see you in a couple of days. Well, it looks like champ doesn't want to leave you, Ricky. Go on, champ. I'll be back. about to start, kid. Lay off. Well, I thought you two'd never get here. How are you, Ricky? Fine, thank you, Colonel. I'll have my grandson show you where you're gonna bust. Oh, Josh! Better hop to it, kid. Grandpappy's calling. Yeah. Jump through the loop. He'll probably be docked another five dollars. George! I'll ride into town with you and bring the rig back, Sandy. Well, thanks, Colonel. Hi, Josh. Uh, take Ricky over to the bunkhouse and show him where he bed down. Come on, kid. You stay out of trouble now, Ricky. I will, Uncle Sandy. Come on. What am I going to do with Josh, Sandy? He's been like that for weeks. Well, raising a boy is a tough job. I've done my best ever since his folks died. And until a few weeks passed, I thought I was on the right track. But now, nothing I do seems right. He resents everything I say. Well, he's at the years between, Colonel. He's not a boy any longer, yet he's not quite a man. He's well, kind of at the crossroads. Yeah, I reckon you're right, Sandy. But what's got me worried is, which trail he's going to take. Oh, he'll take the right one. You just got to give him a little room to spread his wings. He's stubborn, like his grandpa. It's gonna be swell. 
You get to sleep in the bunkhouse all the time? Yeah, I have to. The old man wants me to learn the cattle business the hard way. Even docks my pay when I make a mistake. You mean the colonel? Yeah. Says the wranglers can teach me a lot. And losing my pay will teach me even more. Well, you should be real proud of him. He's got about the richest bread in the valley. As far as I'm concerned, he can keep it. San Francisco sounds better to me. You going there? I might. Why? Seems to me your grandpa's kind of dependent on you here at the ranch. Nobody depends on me, kid. I just take orders, do what I'm told. Ah, uh, you wouldn't understand. You're just a kid. Want to help me mend some fence? Sure. Good looking at him. Sure is. He must have followed me over here. Told you to go on back to the herd, champ. Guess you wanted to see where I was going. <laughs> this your horse, kid? Well, not exactly. Nobody owns Champ. He's a Mustang. Leads a wild herd in the valley. Ricky here's the only one he'll let in his back. This kid? There never was a horse I couldn't ride. I wouldn't try it, mister. Josh is telling the truth. Honest. Yeah? Well, watch this. A killer. He is naughty, just like freedom. I tried to tell you. Thought you said there wasn't a horse living you couldn't ride, Bart. Maybe that's not true, along with some of your other talk. I can do anything I said I could do, including breaking that Mustang. We'll show you. Do any thinking about our deal last night, kid? Hold it down. Ricky's inside. He might hear something. Sure. No, a deal like this won't wait forever. We can get a real buy on that Frisco gambling house if we act now. I know you told me. Your own business. The easy life, kid. And you've given the orders. Simple as turning the dial on the old man's safe. And robbing. The money's gonna be yours someday anyhow, kid. What's the difference if you get it a little early? Me and Frank ain't gonna wait much longer. Morning. Opportunity knocks only once, kid. Remember that. Never mind. Come on, we got a lot of work to do before lunch. There they are, Frank. There's that Mustang.
Uh, we'll show Josh he can be rode. Have some apples, boys. I plan on having blueberries, but I'm fresh out. Oh, I know where there's a whole patch of wild berries. I'll get them for you tomorrow. That'd be right nice of you, son. How'd everything go this morning, Josh? Same as usual. No change. Looks like we're going to have a good year. I want to go to San Francisco, Colonel. If you lend me the money, I'll pay you back. Can't we talk about that some other time? I want to talk about it now. I'm not trying to hold you back, Josh, but you're not old enough to go out on your own to make a trip like that. All I'm old enough to do is take orders, is that it? Josh, do this. Josh, don't do that. I can't decide anything by myself. But you're still a boy, Josh. You've got to learn to take orders before you start giving them. When you understand that, then you'll be a man. I was in San Francisco once, Josh. With Uncle Sandy. It's lots nicer here. Stay out of this. Josh, don't you talk to our guests that way. I'm no sense trying to explain how I feel. I know how you feel, son. I felt the same way when I was your age. But you've got to learn your business first. Become a good rancher. Then you've got plenty of years to see the country. Well, I want to see it now. Not when I'm falling apart with old age. But I... I need you here, Josh. Don't that mean nothing? You don't need me. You don't need anybody. He didn't mean what he said, Colonel. I'm only trying to do what's best for him. But somehow I, I just can't figure it. Maybe I'm making a mistake. Everything will turn out all right, sir. I sure hope you're right, boy. Mustang to this boy. enough to know that I don't want you working for me. Now you pack your gear and get out of here, both of you. We didn't break no laws. That horse is wild. There's no law to let me know what you did was wrong. Now I want you off my ranch before sundown. Now get. Both of you, go on. It's all right now, son. Looks like we both got our troubles today. You with a wild horse and me with a wild boy. Money's going with us one way or another. What happened? The old man just fired us. Thinking time's over, Josh. Are we going to get the money or are you? We're going to know now. All right, I I'll get it. When? Well, I, I have to wait to leave the ranch. That'll be tomorrow afternoon when he goes to town to pick up Ricky's uncle. We'll meet you in the old abandoned mine in Sundown Canyon. What time's the old man go to town? Oh, around 2.30. And you'd better show. I'll be there. We'll give you till 3.30. If you're not there by then, we'll be back to get the money ourselves. Well, I don't want anybody getting hurt. Nobody will get hurt. As long as you show up.
I still don't think Josh will go through with it. Oh, quit worrying. If he don't steal the money, we will. I mean, it's easier this way. Less than the clear. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I'd like to see the Colonel's face when he gets back and finds all that money gone. Yeah, Josh along with it. He heard it. Telling nobody Pick up Sandy, be right back. Now you take care of things while I'm gone, huh? Sure, Colonel. Josh! Help! Ricky, what happened? I fell. Oh, you hurt bad? I hit my head. Can't see. Stay with him. Do what you can. I'll get the doctor and send. money. I started to run. That's when I fell. 
If you knew, how come you didn't tell the colonel? He trusts you, Josh. So do I. I knew you wouldn't go through with it. The colonel needs you. You said so. You said you never got to make a decision, didn't you? Yeah. Well, you can make one. No. Everything's gonna be all right, boy. Ricky's gonna be okay. <laughs> all right, I guess. But those men, Josh, they'll be coming back here. What are you gonna do? Nothing they can do, kid. Frank! Get the safe open, Josh. I won't do it. We made a deal, remember? The deal's off. I was a fool ever listening to your talk. You'll be a dead one if you don't do what we say. I'm giving the orders now. It took Ricky here to keep me from making one of the biggest mistakes of my life. Now get out of here! Not without the money. <laughs> I've got no time for games, Josh. Open the safe. No, Josh. better for the boy if I saw him alone. You can do more good going after that runaway cowboy. Get going. How is he, Doc? The boy had a bad fall, Sandy. The, the blindness is caused by a retinal contusion, but it's not too serious. As soon as the retinal swelling goes down, he'll see again fine. Well, how long will that be? Oh, four or five days. A week at the most. He's resting now. When he wakes up, I suggest you take him home. I'll be glad to help you, Sam. Thanks, Josh. And me and the colonel's going to San Francisco together. Yes, sir. For two whole weeks. Soon as roundup's over. Gee, that's swell. <laughs> Want to race again, huh, Ruben? Okay, but no more shortcuts. <laughs> Come on, champ. <laughs> 